This is the basement of the B&B that I'm at. One hiker stayed there, and then I was over here. Um, it's just after 8 o'clock right now, which I still feel exhausted because it was daylight savings time and lost one hour of sleep. So I don't usually drink hot coffee in the morning, but I made myself a cup, and now I'm going to go have some breakfast. So last night I stayed at your home in the woods, uh, b and with Bonnie and Paul. I heard such great things going into it and it really was amazing uh, just staying in their home, having a home-cooked dinner, a home-cooked breakfast and hanging out with them. It was, it was a nice, nice change of pace. Uh, the only thing is I did share a room with another hiker and he snored incredibly loud the entire night. Uh, so I didn't get sleep. Um, so that, on top of it being daylight savings time and losing an hour, uh, I feel like I might struggle today, so that's a little unfortunate. I am probably going to try going forward to when I do book hostels, try to book private rooms, because I feel like I can sleep through a lot, but for some reason the sound of snoring, I just, it drove me crazy. I woke up in the middle of the night crying. <laughs> Um, just being so frustrated that I couldn't sleep. I went up to the living room for about an hour and slept on the couch and then came back down to the basement. So it was a little frustrating. Um, that's no fault to the bed and breakfast itself. It was just a little bit of an unfortunate situation. Um, so I'm on trail, probably gonna sleep in my tent tonight and hopefully pass out. Um, I don't know where that's gonna be. This morning I got dropped off at Tesnity Gap and then right from that gap it's a straight uphill and then a straight downhill into Hogpen Gap so I'm about almost at the top right now as you can see it's foggy and a little bit raining which is expected on the AT uh, but not that bad but it should be like this all day so we'll see what that's like. I figured I'd share a little bit of a struggle that's going on in my head right now. So I would honestly love to stay at a hostel every single night, <laughs> at least like right now when the weather's maybe a little more cold and rainy um, and I'm just starting out. But part of me wants to try to sleep in my tent, but I think I'm just trying to please uh, some of the people watching my videos because I know people don't want to watch someone sleep in a hostel every single night. They want to see someone camping. Um, but I feel like I just want to do what I want to do, um, even if that means getting some comments from people saying whatever they want to say about hostel hopping. But I have noticed that it's incredibly common for people to spend every single night in a hostel here in Georgia. I have seen so many hikers stay at the same hostel two, three nights in a row and just kind of use that hostel as a home base and get shuttled around to do different nearby sections. So I'm not really doing that. I'm just kind of staying at a hostel one night and then continuing on, doing a bigger day. I've been doing between like 13 and 16 miles a day so far, uh, which I think is good for me starting out. But I am kind of fighting that dilemma in my head of if I wanna go to a hostel, if I wanna camp and like, am I camping for myself or am I camping for other people? So I just wanted to let you guys know what's going through my head. Um, and maybe that will help you understand <laughs> why I'm making decisions, um, but I think I do just need to do what I want to do. Um, I need to keep that in mind. I made it up on a ridge where it's a little bit exposed through the trees and kind of windy. Definitely cold. I'm wearing my rain mitts, which are keeping my hands warm, which is really nice. 
but the last few miles have been some pretty easy hiking, which has been good. <laughs> This section is pretty rocky and it's a little sketchy, especially with all the rocks being wet. So you definitely don't want to slip on this. So I did end up calling around the Bend Hostel today and I am going there. I have about two miles left of the day and it's about three o'clock. <sighs> I think this is the first time I've been warm today. This morning was pretty cold. A lot of the morning was on that ridge where like the really cold air was just blowing at me. But I've just been wearing my rain jacket all day. This is the first time I took my hood off. But yeah, today a little uneventful. Um, no road crossings except for like at the first mile when I crossed Hogpen Gap. Um, no views. I mean, there could have been pretty places, but it's just so foggy, as you can see. Um, not really any other hikers. Kind of easy terrain. That was that one section with a lot of rocks. That was a little difficult. But, yeah, pretty simple day. <laughs> um, not sure what I'm going to get up to uh, later once I get to the hostel. or I don't know if I'm going to go into town because the hostel is near Hiawassee, Georgia. So... We'll see. I think that says 50. So this is 50 miles on trail right now. I am just a couple minutes away from Unicoi Gap where I'm getting picked up and it just started raining again. So that's very good timing to get indoors. Also, I've gotten really good at predicting my times for when I'm gonna be certain places because it was a few hours ago that I said I'd be at Unicoi Gap at 3.45, and it's 3.43, and the road is right there. Just gotta go around this little corner. So this is the little gear shop at the Around the Bend Hostel. We have a lot inside, I'll show you. Around the Bend Outfitters. All right. So this is right at the hostel like in the driveway and so they sell all these types of like UL backpacks I think this is I just learned about this Etowah gear apparently this is what a lot of uh through hikers coming through are picking up so that's cool Z packs light AF six moon designs hyperlight so they have a lot of backpacks and then also like a full resupply of snacks and lunches, all the dehydrated dinners. I think it's almost eight o'clock, so it's getting a little dark. Um, but just, yeah, I'm just amazed. I was just in here with the owners and going over everything. There's a lot. Those, also they sell enlightened equipment. So like the puffy jackets, the sleeping bags. Uh, the mittens right here, all the socks, and so yeah, I just wanted to bring you around if you're doing a through hike. They have a lot of stuff here if you need anything. They also like branded their own trekking poles as well as pillows and sleeping pads. So like these, where is it? Yeah, that says around the bend. So, yeah, this is a pretty cool place. Oh yeah, wide angle. Shoes 